Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today we're just going to tell you what I did today. I did, oh, my paper's upside down. I guess I need it right side up. I walked out, the temperature today was about 77. It was pretty nice out. It was warm, it was humid, oh, but it I was came warm. came home, the Jeep said 80. Well, the house said 77 on that yeah. thermometer. But anyways, I walked outside today for 10 minutes, and boy, I'm out of shape. I could tell when I was walking up the driveway, because the one end is low and the other end is high, so you're coming up a hill every time. Then I sat outside in my swing for about 10 minutes, so I got a lot of sunshine or a lot of fresh air today. Then I cleaned the baby's house, the little chicken house. I took all the... Took all the bedding out of there and put fresh bedding in and took their heating pad out. Jim disconnected the electric. Oh, I got to take Did that. You? I, I didn't wrap that up yet. Oh, I well, you got to do yet. that. Well, I guess it's not done yet. <laughs> it's supposed to be done. When I was cleaning the little house out, who jumps in but Dorothy? And then she jumped down into the bottom part and the babies were going nuts. And so finally she jumped back up into the top part, went out of the chicken house. She decided she didn't Mini want to be coop. in there. Or mini coop, yeah. yeah. But she got in and I, I didn't see her even jump in until I turned around. I was cleaning. I must have been dumping some of the stuff. And she decided she would take a leap and see what's going on inside that little coop. I gave Emma four to eggs total. She had two eggs under her, so I took those two out and marked them with Emma's name on it and dated them. Then I gave her two more because I don't know if they're fertilized or not. I probably need a second rooster, but I don't have a second rooster. And I'm almost afraid to get a second one only because this one is so nice. I don't know what the next one would be like. She's got four eggs under her right now. I had Jim move the one coop because it was too close and I couldn't open up the back nesting box area of the one that she's going to go in. I'll leave her in the big coop for a few days just to make sure she's broody. And then I will move her in the night to the other coop, have her sit on her eggs there, and she'll have her own food and her own water. And this way nobody can bother her. I walked with Jim while he took down the, the driveway, markers. driveway markers. Yeah, five put it in there, but I had to move my thumb out of the way. Uh, I'm sorry. And that's all right. And let's see, I took the heating pad out. I told that already. Oh, I watched videos. I watched videos on smell and taste. And you know, everything is is like two years ago, one year ago. The, I only found one that was maybe four months ago, but it's still, they don't know what's going on. They still don't know how to get your taste or smell back. They say the the therapy that they do the aromatherapy. No, no, it's they talk about the olfactory training only. I have tried it. The only thing I can smell possibly, and I think I smell it, but it doesn't smell very good, is the coffee when I open up the container to make coffee, and when I picked opened up the Grub Terra Black Larry Flies, they smell like coffee too. So. And everything else smells like eucalyptus. It's got a stinky smell. Then I watched about a video, or it was a movie actually, about grounding. Grounding is where you take your shoes and socks off and the earth has electrical electrical feed in energy. it. Emit, what, energy. Energy. Yeah, electrical energy. And it will make you feel better and heals ailments that we have. So I should have taken my shoes and socks off today. It was nice outside and walking the grass, but I didn't. Well, if you think about it, the ancestors, how did they get around? Most of the time they walked barefoot. They were barefoot. barefoot. And the thing is, the shoes have, even though we have shoes on, the shoes are what is the problem. As soon as they made synthetic soles and rubber soles, you're now insulated and you're not getting any of the energy from the earth. And that was something that is they say is important. And there was a baby in one of the videos that was apparently had very bad colic. And the only way she would feel good is when she was outside and if the mother had her shoes off. 
when she put her shoes on and was outside, the baby would cry a lot. So the colic, colicky didn't change with the shoes on, but with the shoes off, the colickiness would go away. Well, I hope you have a great night. And if you want, walk barefoot in the grass. I used to walk barefoot all the time. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.